Alright, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get your first HANA application up and running. First thing we'll do is go in and download uh, the Eclipse IDE. Once that's downloaded, you want to extract that and then open up that executable file. So we're using uh, Eclipse Juno. You see it's asking for the workspace. This is where your, your files will be stored for your projects. Once that's done, you go to help, install new software, and then we're going to type in the URL that's going to give us the HANA, HANA tool set. So to put in that URL, click add, and then we'll just name this HANA tools. And here we have four results. How about development tools, HANA Cloud Tools, Gateway Tools, and UI development for HTML5? We selected HANA Cloud Tools and click Next. Click Next again, and then we're going to accept the terms. Click OK through this warning, and we'll restart Eclipse. So once we start Eclipse, we'll open that back up. It's going to ask for the workspace again. You can always check that little check there so it doesn't prompt you every time. Close the welcome page. All right, that's done. Now let's go to tools.hanaondemand.com. Here is where we're going to download the SDK, the Software Development Kit. So we're going to agree to these terms. Download that, and we'll also extract that. Um, if you haven't already, we're gonna have to uh, you have to register for SEN. And then we're gonna search HANA, and we'll go to the HANA Development Center. I always found it's the easiest way to get there, and then sign up for the 30-day trial. Again, you have to have an SCN account to do that. Click sign up. And we'll put in our information. So I'll um, add a display name. Click accept. Oh, we got an error. I have to add an email. So I'll type in the same email address I have for my SEN account. If you do experience uh, problems here, I've read in a couple of threads that people had to use a different email address for some reason. but. Uh, I'm able to use my own, the same email address. All right, now we're to CloudShare, where we have to create a CloudShare account also, which will be linked to our uh, SCN account. So create a password. Make sure you put in the required fields and continue. So all right, here's CloudShare. You can see it's building our HANA server. Our virtual machine. Once those are loaded, we are good to go. So if you don't want to do the trial, you want to just buy it, you can go uh, click another link here and you can see you can actually host this on Amazon or you can hand, uh, buy your own cloud share for $137 a month. So there are different options if you don't want to do the 30-day um, the trial. So there's our SDK folder that we extracted. Now we're going to New and we're going to select web and dynamic web project. Then we're going to type in our project name as hello world. So this is our first application. New runtime and this is where we're going to select the HANA cloud. For this we're selecting the SDK folder that we extracted. click finish and we should be all set so we'll click finish one more time yes all right so now we'll go to new servlet and we're just going to type in our Java package hello and then class name. Uh, I guess they want us to start that with uppercase typically. So we have a warning there. 
And here I'm just going to edit the URL mapping so it's not always going to that hello servlet directory. So just put a forward slash. Makes it less confusing in the end. Put an uppercase there. Good. All right, click finish. And it created the hello servlet Java file for us. So we'll type in a little code here so we can just um, do a quick print line in Java. So response dot get writer dot print line and then we'll put in quotes here hello world witness my first HANA application So now we're going to go run as, run on server. No, we have to save our changes. Yep. And then I'm going to choose the local runtime. So we're going to run this on a local host. So we'll click next. Port 8080 is fine. Click finish. This is a nice way to test your results before actually running it on the HANA server. So before we try it on the HANA server, we're going to go into um, our HANA trial. You can use that URL there, click log on. You have to accept the agreement here. Make sure you can scroll down. I read this earlier, of course. And we'll choose the HANA database. Gives me a little nice welcome message, and our developer account has been created. Now, notice that. P username is very important because that's going to be our username for logging on um, and testing our application via Eclipse. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to Preferences. I'm going to type HANA Trial here because we're using the trial version. If you're not, you just leave it HANA. I'm going to select the SDK folder again. So remember, we downloaded the SDK and extracted that there. My account name, we just copied that. For the lowercase p, that's important, and then the username. So right click, run as just like we did earlier, and then we're going to click a manually define. This time we're selecting SAP HANA Cloud. The server host name again is trial, and we'll type in our application name is just hello world, all lowercase, and type in our password. So this is our SCN password. Click finish. Give me the error um, that my username is incorrect. So we do have to take, tri take trial off the username, but we do want to keep on the account name. So a lot of people mess up here. So it's important to make note of that. So while we wait for that to publish, you can see that straight down there in the servers, it stopped publishing. Good way to keep track of the status of your servers down there. All right, so there we are. You can see that URL is the HANA trial on demand.com, and there's our hello world. Now, if we go back to the uh, account HANA trial on demand.com, we log in, you'll see that our application hello world is uh, there and it's started. Very cool. Thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers.